Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new here. So if you don't know, on this channel, I like to do a series where I go ahead and find a whole bunch of pictures of disgusting, truly horrible aquariums, and we react to them side by side together, just to see really how bad some of these tanks are. Now I know nobody watching this video will have a tank looking like this, trust me, so you guys are already a step ahead of the curve. But without further ado, you guys probably already know the drill by now. I'm going to pop up a picture right here. And we're going to take a deep dive into what's going on here because trust me, things are going to get messy. So starting off strong with a Pinterest aquarium. Well, if this can even be called an aquarium, this looks like a votive candle holder that someone stuck some pothos trimmings in and put a beta fish in there. There looks to be like literally a cup of water in here, like a single cup of water. There's like an inch of like those little glass marbles and then an inch of water. Like... The beta fish's head is touching the surface of the water and its tail is touching the rocks. Like, this is smaller than the cups you buy beta fish in. Absolutely not. Zero out of ten, you cannot keep a fish alive in literally a cup of water. It's gonna get gross in like three seconds. No. This next aquarium also literally isn't an aquarium. This is like a science experiment. I don't know what's going on here. This is supposedly in a doctor's waiting room. I don't know what about this screams doctor's waiting rooms. You know, doctor's offices, dentist's office. They have like the pretty like saltwater reef aquarium. Peaceful, calming your nerves, you know. Everything's good. This, like I said, literally looks like a science experiment. I'm not sure what's going on here. We have some like soda water bottles um, with air stones in them and maybe some live plants and supposedly a goby. I honestly don't see any fish in here. Oh, actually I lied. I definitely lied. If you zoom in, I think there's a whole bunch of like baby fish down there. Yeah, okay, I completely lied. There's obviously fish in there. I wasn't seeing them at first, but yes. On the one on the left, there's a whole bunch of little fish in there. I'm not sure what kind of fish they are, and I'm not sure what they're doing in this water bottle, but regardless, not a good doctor's office tank. Even like a little 10-gallon tank is like cool and cute and fun, but not water bottles. That's just tacky. This tank comes from OfferUp, and the more I look at this picture, the more confused I get. So this looks like a reef-ready aquarium. Um, it looks to be like plumbed, maybe to go to a sump or something. It's only filled up halfway. There's a huge random like river fish in here. I'm not quite sure what that is. There's some red gravel down at the bottom. Some sort of either heater or filter that's plugged in because there's a cord running out of the tank. And they're selling this tank for $150. Now we have no information regarding the tank's gallons or size other than its dimensions. Um, I don't know if the fish is included for $150. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. It looks like this tank is set up outside. Um, it only is filled up about halfway, but I'm going to estimate that's around 20 gallons. And that equals, you know, around 200 pounds. Um, and it's being held up on a water cooler and two pieces of wood. So, um, we've seen some pretty bad stands in the past, but this is probably just about as bad as it gets. And that's like almost equivalent to trying to hold up like a dog with like a toothpick. Like, yeah, not sure what's going on here. Once again, cannot recommend this situation, period. I don't even, no one's gonna pay $150 for that. That picture looks gross. So right off the bat, this tank actually doesn't look that bad. It's a Fluval Flex. I believe this is the 15 gallon version. And you know, like I said, off the bat, tank looks good. Saltwater tank, there's some coral going on in there. But unfortunately, the problem lies with the fish selection. So we have a clownfish, we have a chromis. Um, those are great reef fish for smaller aquariums. Unfortunately, we also have some angels and a blue tang. And if you don't know, blue tangs and angels both get pretty big or at least larger than a 15 gallon tank can handle um, anywhere from probably 55 gallons and up depending on the size of the fish. Obviously, as they grow, they're gonna need a bigger tank. But this tank simply just isn't suitable for these guys, which is unfortunate because other than that, the tank's a little dirty, could use a little cleaning, but it really doesn't look too bad except for that unfortunate fish selection. And also, this part like annoys me more than anything. All the cords that are like in the front and the stand, I don't know. I feel like there's so many better ways you could like cable manage than putting a big white power like supply brick right in front of the tank. It just ruins the look of the tank, to be honest with you. Another saltwater aquarium we have going on here, this is a 100 gallon salt or freshwater aquarium. Obviously it's set up as a saltwater tank here. And I think the problem lies, there, the tank's empty. The fish are in there, but someone removed all the rocks and removed all the sand which probably caused a huge bacterial imbalance. You're removing a majority of the biofiltration. We don't know what's going on in the sump, but rocks and sand contain a ton of bacteria, which keeps your tank healthy and flowing. And they left all the fish in there. So we have a blue tang, a yellow tang, some chromis, some cardinals, a fox face, um, your usual saltwater suspects, if you will. But I'm not sure what they're doing in a bear aquarium. I don't know how that's gonna line up. I don't know how that's gonna go. I could imagine that probably threw things out of balance, which isn't going to be good for these fish in the coming days. 
Um, 900 bucks is a steep price, by the way. This tank looks so dated, like that wood. Uh-uh. I don't know what's going on with this tank, honestly. Hopefully someone who bought it either gave the fish a correct home or maybe they're just here temporary. Like I said, I don't have too much backstory, so I don't know. And the other pictures really just leave a lot to be desired as well. Unfortunately, we're back to the aquariums that I don't even know if they deserve to be called aquariums. This is, a, maybe it's a pond, I don't know. It's a plastic storage tote, probably around five gallons, maybe six or seven, with a single circulation pump, no filter, no heater, no air stone, just a pump circulating the most disgusting water I've ever seen. These goldfish look like carrots, to be honest with you, because of just how nasty that water is. I, this doesn't even deserve to be called a fish tank. I'll say it, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Come on, the, I don't, what are we doing? The, what, where's the confusion? You can buy like an actual aquarium for very cheap. You can get an actual appropriately sized tub for very cheap. Or at least get a filter. Like, come on, really? No plants, no decor, no nothing. This is just depressing. Now this next aquarium comes from an Amazon review for the tank itself. Now, at quick glance, the picture, we obviously see what's wrong. There's two goldfish in here. There's also an axolotl in here. Now, this tank is too small for an axolotl and obviously too small for goldfish. I don't know if the goldfish are food for the axolotl or tank mates, no idea here and we see they're placed on gravel. Now, axolotls generally should not be placed on gravel because they can eat it and they can get stuck on the digestive tract. We don't want that. I personally haven't owned axolotls, but I do know a little bit about them. They like cold water. This tank doesn't have a chiller. Don't know the temperature of the tank, doesn't have a chiller, and they don't like bright lighting. This tank has a very bright light. There's also no decor, no places for this axolotl to hide. Um, I think I pointed out pretty much just about everything wrong with this tank. And that's pretty much everything. This tank's horrible. There's not one thing right about this tank other than that it's filled up with water. And that's where we're gonna leave it. This aquarium comes from a local restaurant, not local to me, local to someone else, just put that out there. Um, I guess this used to be a trend where a lot of like Chinese restaurants, Japanese restaurants would have aquariums in them. Unfortunately, this aquarium looks gross. I have never been one to appreciate aquariums in a public setting that are gross. Having an aquarium in a public setting almost is like a responsibility. It has to look good if it's going to be in public. And this tank doesn't look good. Not at all. There's a huge black fish in there. I think it's a Paku. I don't know. Way too big for the tank. Completely outgrown the tank. There's also no plants, no color, no nothing. This tank looks drab. It looks gross. It looks dirty. Water's evaporated. It needs to be topped off. And obviously this fish deserves a bigger home, period. So this is a complete teardown in my opinion. This next aquarium I believe is built into the wall at an office. Saltwater aquarium, it looks gross, it's dirty, you can see, it's nasty, if you will. Maybe it just needs a good cleanup, maybe it needs a teardown. It's run by a canister filter, which really isn't an issue in saltwater tanks, so you can definitely make it work. However, this just looks like pure neglect, and there's really only one clownfish in here, and it took me a while to find him, but in the bottom left corner, there's one small little clownfish, probably clinging on for life in this gross aquarium. Um, a good water change, get some new sand in there, get some new rocks, complete tear down. This tank has a lot of potential. I've always loved tanks built into the wall, but they could have gone about this in so many better ways. Last but not least, another offer up scandal. This $80 betta fish tank with two betta fish in literally less than a gallon of water blows my mind. Why? I don't, mm, I almost have no words for this one. The decor is tacky, there's no heater, there's no filter, $80. That tank was probably like 20 bucks brand new, okay? I don't know what's going on. These fish obviously need bigger tanks, let alone being housed so close together, let alone being housed without heat and filtered water. You see where we're going with this. I can only rant about these tanks for so long. Unfortunately, that is going to be the last tank for today's video. If you guys wanna see another round of this, I actually have a lot of fun finding these pictures, so let me know if you guys wanna see something new. Let me know if you wanna see more aquariums. You know I will always come at you with a new video. But that is it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and good bye.